My name is DJ, and today I am recording my first ever theory video because um, I thought I might as well give it a shot and you know try something new and see if I like doing it, see if you guys like it. And uh, well, uh, just I hope you guys like the video. Okay, so this theory is on the, game, the new hit sensation in horror, Bendy and the Ink Machine. My theory is that is the cardboard man in the hidden room, Joey Drew. Now, um, most people believe it's just a cameo, but there's lots of proof that prov provides otherwise, because um, uh, lots of proof that could be used to help out with this. Okay, so, um, yeah, okay. But anyway, this game is still a work in progress, but Chapter 1 has been released to the public. I was originally planning to do a Let's Play of this game, because but, um, my bandy cam doesn't work at the moment. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, so, what if I told you that Joey Drew is still alive? I know it's a huge leap, especially since most of the community already agree that he's dead, but there's more than that. What if he's the cardboard cutout we see in the hidden room? Most people have no idea what I'm talking about, especially if you found this, haven't found this little least strange yourself. After you've found all six tributes and started the ink flow, if you go into the room with Boris and poke around, you'll find that one of the walls is fake, and you will enter a small room. There, uh, in the room, there are tears on the walls, two lit candles, and a cardboard cutout figure. There are plenty of things that signify to me that this could be Joey, and here are my facts. Fact number one. We never know for sure that Joey Drew is dead. He never appears during gameplay, at least in his human form, and we are never shown what Joey Drew looks like. Um, this could be just quick coincidence, but to me it seems like a pretty big um, piece of evidence to this theory. Um, number two. We do know that Bendy is alive somehow, whether de demon possession or the ink machine. It's entirely likely that Bendy turned Joey into the cardboard man in the room. I don't know how yet. Maybe, if this theory could, it could be true, the next chapter might shed a little light on this. Um, and it'll shed a little more light on Bendy and his character. And also what happened to Boris, I'd like to know about that too. That's cool. Okay. Anyway, number three. If you notice the room, there are two lit candles. Why are these so important to me? Well, because they're lit. Also, the wax mix looks new. This means that someone or something has lit these candles very recently. Which also means that this is which also means that um which also means that this Joey has if this theory is correct, then Joey hasn't has only recently been turned into the cardboard cutout, which is kind of creepy when you think about it. Maybe we're next. Who knows? Fact four. Fact number four. Since we never see Joey, how do we know he sent the letter? Um, we know that Bendy has done something with Joey, but now he now has no one to run the ink machine. It isn't explained in the first chapter why the ink machine is so important, but we do know that Bendy needs a human to start the machine. Maybe Bendy sent the letter to Henry pretending to be Joey. Personally, I'm not saying this is 100% true. I'm new to theorizing after all, but I think it is possible. After all, who are, um we never real again we never see Joey in this game, and again with the previous fact, the candles that were were lit very recently, and we have no idea when the letter was sent. What's that friendly YouTube commenter? Oh, JJ, how do we know the thing can be Joey Drew if Henry doesn't recognize it? Thank you for asking, and I'll gladly clear it up. When Fred, when Henry, oh god, when Henry enters the room, he says, what the heck is that thing? Indicating that he doesn't know or recognize what it is. But well, this doesn't mean that he doesn't recognize Joey. The letter at the beginning of the game did say that Joey and Henry haven't seen each other in at least 30 years. I don't know if you know this, but people change over, oh, oh, over long periods of time. Hell, anyone who watches my videos will know that I dyed my hair twice since launching this channel. However, these changes are subtle and happen over a short period of time. Imagine if you haven't seen someone since high school. They definitely will look different. 
And also, it's a cardboard cutout that isn't very well, that isn't um, well, very well drawn. So it makes sense that he wouldn't recognize it. I know there are a few holes, but I still think it's a pretty good theory. Love to hear what you guys think. But after all, it's just a theory. A game theory. Oh, wait, uh, wrong channel. Um, bye, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I guess. See you guys. <laughs>